ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് മൈ സെൽഫ് അനൂപ് ഐ ടീച്ച് സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി അറ്റ് ഐ ലേൺ ഐ എസ് ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സയൻസ് ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദ ആറ്റം ബോ ആൻഡ് നൗ ഐ ബിക്കം ഡെത്ത് ദ ഡിസ്ട്രോയർ ഓഫ് ഓൾ വേൾഡ്സ് ദിസ് വാസ് എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ദറ്റ് വാസ് മെയ്ഡ് ബൈ ഡോക്ടർ റോബർട്ട് ജെ ഓപ്പൺ ഹൈമർ ബൈ കോട്ടിംഗ് ദ ഗീത ദിസ് വാസ് ഡൺ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി സക്സസ്ഫുൾ ടെസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി അറ്റോമിക് ബോംബ് അറ്റ് ലോസ് ആൽമോസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ആസ് ദ Trinity test. Why did Oppenheimer make such a statement? Because he knew that the world would not be the same after the success of the atomic bomb. The world was going to change forever. And we had seen a glimpse of this at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So what exactly is atomic bomb? How is the science behind it? This is what we are going to discuss in this video. So the atomic bomb is based on the idea of the energy that is generated from the nucleus of an atom this is what we understand by nuclear energy nuclear energy can be harnessed by two methods one is called as nuclear fission and the other is called as nuclear fusion nuclear fission is when there is one large atom which splits into two smaller atoms and when that happens the energy is released which is the nuclear energy however in a nuclear fusion two smaller atoms they combine together so as to have a larger atom and wherein there is energy that is released nuclear fusion is what happens in the sun that is how the heat of the sun is generated however it is nuclear fission that is taking place in an atomic bomb in an atomic bomb what happens is that when a larger atom is splitting into smaller atoms the energy gets released the neutrons that are so produced then keep on hitting other atoms and they also split into smaller atoms such that a chain reaction develops because of this chain reaction there is a huge amount of energy that is released and when this happens almost in uncontrolled manner it leads to immense amount of energy that becomes the core of an atomic bomb when this particular energy that is in the chain reaction is being controlled that can become a reaction that can lead to production of electricity that is why we use nuclear energy as a power it means that nuclear energy can be used either to produce a power or to produce weapons for this we often use certain elements which are radioactive in nature these are uranium plutonium thorium and all even the two bombs that were dropped in hiroshima and nagasaki which are called as the little boy and fat man was also having the uranium and plutonium as their materials these materials which are capable of nuclear fission are called as fissile material they are called as fissile material now india also seeing the immense potential of nuclear energy also embarked on a policy to go for nuclear energy that is what we understand by the nuclear power program this particular program which was started by homi j baba which developed into the three stage program that is we are going to harness the nuclear energy in three different stages based on the fissile material that is being used currently we have achieved the commercial production of the stage 1 while stage 2 and the stage 3 are in technological demonstration and r&d respectively while the nuclear power program was going on we also embarked on a nuclear defense program in india that is india was also to make nuclear weapons the first thing which happened here was in 1974 in a small village at pokhran in rajasthan here we went for the explosive tests of the nuclear weapons wherein around five tests of nuclear fission was taken place this was called as the smiling buddha experiment in the smiling buddha experiment india announced to the world that india 
has achieved the peaceful nuclear explosions. Then, after a few years, around 25 years, in 1998, we again went for the second round of nuclear weapon test. This was nothing but the Mission Shakti program. In the Mission Shakti program, unlike the first test, here we had, apart from the nuclear fission tests, we also performed a nuclear fusion test. That is, we were able to achieve around both fission and fusion technologies for developing nuclear weapons. When India pursued its nuclear weapon program, it was also actually given by sanctions by other nations. And that is the reason why the nuclear supplies group was created and we were actually put outside it. Nuclear supplies group was an export control regime group which actually provided with the export of nuclear technology. It was a period of isolation for India and later onwards we displayed that we are a responsible nation when it comes to the uh, provision of nuclear energy through something what we call as the nuclear doctrine. In the nuclear doctrine, India talked about its commitment towards a no first use policy. This showed that while India had the potential of making a nuclear weapon, it also had the power of being a responsible nation. This is a very interesting aspect because this actually showed how we should use the science and technology for the human purposes. Even in the film Oppenheimer, which was released last year by Christopher Nolan, there is a scene where Oppenheimer asks Mr. President that Mr. President, I feel I have blood on my hands. At that time, President Truman says that it is not you who have the blood on your hands because the people at Hiroshima and Nagasaki would not remember those who have developed the bomb but those who dropped it. This was a very interesting dilemma of how to use science and technology either for human purposes or for destroying the world. India's pursuit of its nuclear energy is a striking example on how to manage science and humanity. This is in relevance with Gandhi's seven sins which says science without humanity is a sin. Just like how India is pursuing its nuclear policy, we should use science for human purposes. Thank you. Come and join I Learn IAS and feel the difference.